What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today we're going to talk about lenses with a GH5. Now a little backstory, back in 2013 when a Blackmagic Cinema camera came out, I got this freaking amazing lens, the Sigma 1835 uh, f1.8. I had to sell it when I switched over to Red Scarlet because it wasn't going to work because it was full frame sensor and the Sigma 1835 is only for crop sensor, so I had to sell it. But when I got the Ursa Mini 4K years later, I ended up getting it again. And then I had to sell it again when I got the micro cinema camera because my gimbal was too um, lightweight for it. It couldn't handle the, the weight of the Sigma 1835. So I had to sell it again to a good friend. But now that the GH5 came out, guess what I have again? The Sigma 1835 f1.8. Now this lens, I believe, is the best lens you can get as far as walk around lens with a crop sensor or below. It has a Nikon mount a Canon EF mount and I think it has a Sigma mount. I'm not sure if it has Sony, but I think this lens is the best walk around lens for a non full frame sensor. It's even better if you have the Metabone speed booster like I do because it turns your lens into F1.1. Now I have the Metabone speed booster 0.64x. So it turns it, it turns the GH5's crop factor from 2.0 to 1.28. So the Sigma lens becomes a 22 to roughly 44 millimeter f1.1 lens. That's freaking crazy. And I just got this one brand new on eBay for $600. And if you want a telephoto lens, I highly suggest the Canon uh, 135 millimeter f2.0, which I use all the time. But right now I'm, I'm using the Sigma 1835 on the GH5. So you can see what this quality looks like. I do have the Canon 135mm on this 6D. It's a full frame lens, so it will cover your GH5 just fine. It's, free, it's such a freaking sweet lens and I get a lot of compliments with this. But the only thing that you have to worry about, you have to get really, unless you're shooting full frame, you will have to get really far away from your subject before you can even get a good framing form from it. So, if you shoot outdoors a lot with your GH5 and you don't mind the distance between you and the subject, then definitely get the Canon 135mm f2.0 because it is a beast. And if you have the GH5 with the speed booster, the aperture goes down again. So I think to like 1.3 or something like that. Okay, now for my situation, I am gonna have to get rid of the 135mm f2.0 just because I cannot use it enough, I guess. It's just too long for me. So what I end up getting was a Canon 85mm 1.2 Mark II. So I'm gonna be using that with a GH5. You're gonna be seeing a lot of tests with that. And I'm gonna compare it to the 135mm f2.0 using the GH5. But I think I'm gonna end up keeping the Canon 85mm. So I'm gonna have the Sigma 18 to 35mm and the Canon 85mm 1.2. So those are the two lenses that I would highly recommend. And this, if you can afford it, I mean, this lens is like less than $1,000. It's really freaking cheap for an L lens. It's crazy for portraits. Like always, if you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Peace.